My name is Jeannie Simiotti. I'm a research assistant professor at the University of Pennsylvania. And today I'm presenting work on healthcare, burn healthcare worker burnout and healthcare associated infections. We were fortunate enough to have a survey of over 7,000 nurses in the state of Pennsylvania. And we also had um, data on healthcare associated infections from the Pennsylvania Healthcare Cost Containment Council, both for the year 2006. Um, we knew which hospitals the nurses worked in, and of course from PS4, we knew which hospitals uh, reported infection data. We linked those together. We had data on over 160 hospitals, over 300,000 infections, 30,000 infections. Um, you can see here uh, some of our findings. Um, we were concerned because over 2 million patients a year acquire infections while being hospitalized for other conditions. There is research in the literature that suggests invasive devices and procedures are associated with infection. We've known that for many years. Recent research, however, suggests that nurse staffing has been associated with healthcare associated infection. So we wanted to look into to try to determine if there are any factors that were mediating that relationship because there hadn't been anything in the literature to date. Our survey was extensive. We had uh, a number of measures on, on, on nurses, including their age, their educational attainment, uh, their perception of the practice environment, their relationships with management and physicians. Uh, we included all of these in an analytical model. We had uh, also information on job dissatisfaction, the intent to lead. Uh, none of these predicted infection. The staffing did, but when we put nurse burnout, high levels of nurse burnout, as defined by the Maslock Burnout Inventory, we found that staffing is no longer a significant predictor of infection, but that burnout was predicting infection and mediating this relationship.